Greetings everyone and welcome back at last to Kingdom Come Deliverance Where since we are heading, uh, that's a poor quality hour, what am I doing? Uh, since we're going to be heading back up onto the battlements, we're going to need to get ourselves somewhat dressed I feel uh, There we are, visibility's gone up, noise has also gone up, has it gone up? Uh, yeah, actually, wow, that really is noisy My good lord Mind you, the red scarf is stupendously noisy too. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of things are noisy. My old boots are crazy noisy as well. We're now down to noise of seven. I I really like the equipment here. That is actually pretty bloody awesome. Okay, well, let's make our move. Uh, can we see a thing? Actually, let me just check my quest before we go out. Uh, optional, take the torch from the table. Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. My hometown was attacked by foreign soldiers and many people slaughtered. I couldn't get inside the castle before they closed the gates, so they sent me to Talmberg to warn the people there in case they faced a similar fate. Uh, it's pitch black outside. I don't know my way around Talmberg. I need a light. Uh, I can get to the battlements via the stairs. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, let me go grab the torch then. And I'm going to stop um, walking as well. If you need a light at night, use your torch by holding um, one. But if you want to keep your left hand free, for example, to use a shield, it's better to drink a Nighthawk potion. Can I equip it? Oh my lord, that makes a hell of a difference. Uh, where have I got to go? Over here, apparently. Did my eyes just adjust to the light? Uh, oh no, no, actually it's over here. Did the sky just get darker or is it my imagination? Oh, that's good. My eyes are actually adjusting to the light. Uh, go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. Ah, there we go. Here, at least, we have a chance to defend ourselves. Okay. The well is deep, and we've got decent stocks of food. I heard from nice. Spy, the cigars were tired and so a mob of... I reckon, food. look. There's too few of us. And anyway, we ain't prepared for a siege. And if he's really got such a big army, we might not even hold out against the first offensive. So two Tom very different opinions there. Uh, you know what? I should put my hey. sword away. We don't need that out. Just want my hey, torch. You men down there, tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you oh understand? Dear. Oh, my lord. You know what? I'm going to put away my uh, torch too. There's enough people here with torches. Oh, that was fantastic. The thunder actually came after. It's surprising how many games don't do that. And yet it's something that everyone intuitively knows. Unless you get hit by the lightning, in which case, yeah, the thunder is right there. But let's see how long it is. About five kilometers away. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Divish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. And I have well, a cup anyway, of tea. we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Oi. Oh, I suppose so. That doesn't look like Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? <laughs> sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. 
Well, Ravzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. That's what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but... I First, know. I have to return to oh. Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm donkey. sorry about your father. But getting killed as well won't help him. That's true, but I'm not going to leave his body, but... Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Tired and afraid. Wow. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled. And report everything to me at once. Understood? Okay. Uh, apparently I've got to talk to you. Henry, I, I need to have a word with what you. What is it? There we go. What do you mean, what is it? You walked into me, scoundrel. Uh, let me just check on my class log first. Uh, let me see. Run! My hometown was attacked. Blah, blah, blah. Talk to Sir Robert. Oh, actually, we've got... Oh, my lord, we've got loads of stuff here. Okay, we're gonna actually read through this because this this appears to be like a um, running commentary on the quest. And I will confess, and I am so sorry. In the last episode, I was oblivious to so much of the text. It, it is a, a kind of twofold. One, I'm dyslexic. Uh, reading isn't really my strong point at the best of times. Also, reading in English. So yeah, uh, you know, second language thing. Everything is a little bit slower, and I was being chased down and possibly about to be murdered. So, uh, yeah, reading kind of took a second, secondary priority for there. So, uh, I do apologize, but maybe we can fill in some of the blanks here. Uh, right, my hometown was attacked by foreign soldiers and many people slaughtered. I couldn't get inside the castle before they closed the gates. So they sent me to Tarnberg to warn the people there in case they faced a similar fate. As I fled, I caught sight of three of Sigm Sigismund's soldiers about to rape the miller's daughter, Teresa. I couldn't just let it be and thought... And though they were stronger, somehow I've managed to rescue her. I guess I just needed to create enough of a distraction that she could run away while they turned to fight me. 
Uh, I wish I could say that that was much more intentional than it was, but it, it really wasn't. I mean, I jumped into the fight hoping that I could maybe catch them off guard or something. I was trying to help, but uh, I didn't actually catch sight of her, of her bailing before I realized that, yeah, I'm about to die if I stay there any longer. Uh, hopefully, you know, making the attempt to talk counted for something. Uh, but great that she got away, apparently. Uh, I managed to get hold of a horse to ride to Tarnberg as quick as possible and warn them there, and I'm extremely pleased to note that, that uh, it wasn't the horse of someone else who, who well, one of the good guys, one of one of my people. Instead, uh, apparently, it was one of uh, one of Sigismund's people. So, haha, they're going to have to walk now. Uh, I succeed. In fact, that's actually extremely costly. Stealing a horse, oh my lord. Uh, I succeeded in the end, although it almost cost me my life. These foreign mercenaries of Sigismund's are skilled at archery on horseback. They pursued me and I took an arrow in the leg. It's a wonder I didn't bleed to death. I told Sir Divish about the terrible fate of Scalit. After a briefing with his captain, Sir Rob, uh, Robard, he decided it would be futile to go to Sir Radzig's aid, and instead they would prepare Tarnberg Castle in case Sigismund should descend on them too, and then he told his captain to take charge of me. Sir Robert told me to eat first. I only realised how hungry I was when he started talking about food. In the kitchen, Captain Robert introduced me to the lady of the castle, Lady Stephanie, and the cook. Um, I forget how, how her name was pronounced, and I, I am afraid I'm going to butcher it, but... Uh, uh, it's it's not Bozena, I don't think. Uh, Bochna? Uh, I, I'm really not sure. Who served me some food? They also offered me a place to sleep in the bedchamber of the lodge in the courtyard. Uh, Boch, uh, uh, Bochna is a great cook and a full stomach has raised my spirit a little, even though I can't stop thinking about my parents. I went to bed, wishing with all my heart that everything that happened might have been no more than a bad dream, that I would wake at home to father hammering on his anvil and mother humming while she cooked, that everything would be like it was before. I was never as uh, nearly asleep when Lady Stephanie came to see me. I was surprised, to say the least, but she only wanted to see if I was all right and to ask about what happened. So I told her all about it, and then she told me about how Sir Divish had been taken captive a few years ago and she had to try and buy his freedom. When Lady Stephanie left, I finally fell asleep. I didn't sleep very well, though. I was troubled by bad dreams, and then Captain Robard came in the middle of the night and woke me to tell me there was some procession coming to Tarnberg, and I had to go to the battlements immediately. Everyone in the castle was on the battlements, anticipating the worst, Sigismund's army. But to everyone's astonishment, it turned out to be Sir Ranzig and all the remaining survivors from Scalitz. What was even more surprising is that they escaped the siege without a fight. Sir Ranzig gave me orders, and then the Scalitz folk carried on to Rate. I have to talk to Sir Robert. Okay, so that's caught us all up. Very well. Can I be of help? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will really? you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? Doesn't matter, you ungrateful request, sod. You answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back anyway. somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Thank you very much. My God, Henry. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Just scoundrel sometimes. All right, so I've got to keep watch on the battlements. Very well. Uh, any particular direction? There's a quest somewhere. It's a quest out there. I cannot see a thing. Wait, of course I can't see anything. I've got a torch out in the middle of the night. Uh, what other way? Oh, wow, that made a difference. I wasn't quite expecting it to be that star. Oh, the torch behind me is also affecting my eyes. Oh, this is fantastic. It's, it's like daylight now. Do I see anything moving out down there? No. Anything at all? No, okay. I'm not going to see anything in the proximity of that torch, so let's move around and have a look down here. Ooh. Ah, it just looks like the, uh, uh, the castle. Well, I mean, I would have called this a castle, but I, I guess it, it, it's probably a, a town. The town's uh, men at arms. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Always good to have uh, an old hand take the greenhorns under their wing, show them the way of things. If you have to wait for something, you can skip time, press T, and set how long you want to wait. Watch out, though. Tiredness and hunger grow even during skip time. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, right, so we want to go until morning, I guess? Sure. I like this effect. I do hope that the sound effects are not too loud. I am aware that in the intro on the first episode, I was kind of drowned out. Sorry about that. I have adjusted music volumes and stuff to try and make sure that doesn't happen in the future. And I'll be paying especially close attention during um, uh, editing to, to try and uh, reduce anything like that from happening. Uh, let's see if we can just chat with some of my comrades. My respects to you. Thank you. What do you think about the Scalets folk fleeing? What do you think about the flight of the Scalets folk? I'd say Sir Rodzik is a fine lord. He made the most of the situation and saved his subjects. You don't see that very often. He was lucky that big storm came. Mm. But that's just it. Something happens by chance and you turn it to your advantage. There's not many capable of thinking so fast. Very well. That's all we're going to get from you. I wonder how long it's going to take for these scars on my face to uh, heal up. Oh, this game is so pretty. This game is really, really beautiful. I mean, it's going to be it's the cry engine, but even knowing the engine that this is running on, it's breathtaking how pretty this game is. And also, the setting is wonderful. Uh, this would be the gatehouse then. These weights would control the uh, mechanism to lower or raise the bridge, I should imagine. Either that or it's some sort of mill, but it looks more like a, a mechanism. Oh, I'm in a private area. My bad. Uh, okay. I'll warn you at first, but if you're caught in the castle guardhouse, for example, you risk immediate arrest. Ah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was told to keep watch. Oh. What? Everyone to the Bailey Battlement. Oh, my lord. Quickly, we have visitors. Okay. I didn't see a, a door in that room, so I'm assuming that I need to go around. Okay, okay, I'm moving it. I'm almost out of stamina. It's been a really long night for me. I haven't got much stamina. I'm trying to. Do I go in there? Oh, no, okay. I definitely don't go in there. Apparently, I'd have to pick the lock. I'm coming. I'm coming. I was, I was, I was on watch. I was doing what I was told to do. Do I go in there? Yes, I think. Do I go in here? Uh... Is this private? No, I'm gonna guess I don't go in there. I'm not even gonna try it. That seems like... Oh, right, okay. No, no, no. I have to go down here. Oh, okay. Oh. Last thing I want to do is get arrested by the people who have taken me in. Once again, how is it that I... How could I... Why does it require my eyes to see something before I, my ears can hear it? That just isn't how it works. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. I mean, none of the actions are pretty may much be on point. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. It's particularly jarring. Seems especially out of place. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. You swine. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Yeah, let's, let's not get everyone in Tomberg killed. You want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. Mark that name. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned, 
until your arrival. Ooh, nice. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratsik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that the Ratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzi Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Well done, bending the knee without bending the Very knee. Very well, sir. I approve. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this. When there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. He is well practiced at statecraft. I admire his calm under pressure. Also, Radzig for moving on. He could have stayed here, but he probably saved all of these people's lives by not doing so. Oh, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Oh, okay. I especially like the way Divish. And yeah, mine too. Get on with you, Robard. I like the way he basically didn't answer the question on loyalty, but answered it well enough that it wouldn't be uh, taken as a refusal. Though as admirable as that skill is, it's also <laughs> it's only, only only a shade away from lying. Anyone who can who can say what you want to hear without saying what you want to hear is perhaps someone you need to keep an eye on. Serious? I'm very sorry, and I was just admiring uh, uh, Lord Divish's statecraft. Right. Okay. Let me have a look at my quests. All right. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the castle was on the battlements anticipating the worst. Sigismund's army, but to everyone's disorder. Uh, Sir Rodard ordered me to help keep watch on the battlements. Captain Rod, uh, Robard didn't want to leave anything to chance, so he posted extra guards on the battlements, and I had to join them too, which is completely fair. Well done that he was taking it seriously. On the advice of one of the soldiers, I had a bit of a snooze, but then another alarm was sounded. Hey, it wasn't a snooze. My eyes were open. Well, actually, to be honest, I'm one of the very fortunate people. Well, actually, it's, it's not a fortunate thing, but I can and do quite often sleep with my eyes open. I, it's not like I'm, I'm aware what's going on, and half the time it's because I'm paralyzed and having a horrible nightmare. But, I, you know, I, I can pass as, as being awake, and there have been several times when my parents would be talking to me, not realizing I was actually asleep. Uh, on... When I got to the battlements, my blood turned cold. Sigismund's army was standing within sight of the castle. Everyone fell silent as the grave when they saw the huge numbers of the enemy. Fortunately, Sir Divish has a way with words. That he does. He persuaded the negotiator that attacking Talmberg would be pointless. The moment Sigismund gave the order to depart, the whole of Talmberg shouted with joy. But I had only one thing on my mind. I should go back to Scalitz and bury, bury my parents. The threat of attack is gone and I have to get back to Scalitz. It's my duty to bury my parents. Only how can I do it? My lord forbids me to leave Tarnberg. I should talk to Captain Robard. Maybe he'll help me get out of the castle. I don't know. He would be in direct um, conflict with the orders. Um, 
I should take my horse. Scallops is a long way from here. Uh, both are true. Optional get horse. A, talk to Sir Robard, or, uh, and ultimately bury my loved ones. Very well. Well, so far, I've got two names on the list. That I am going to be saying in my prayers every night until I've ticked their names off the list by murdering them. Ah! Watch it, pile of sticks, or you'll go on the list too. My lord. Did I tell you about uh, I can't see anything until I go inside and then I can see everything. Oh, I love this engine. Always in the evening, while there's still a bit of light, she sits down and gets on with it. And she's quite deft at it by now. I'm not surprised. Betty was always good with her hands. Oh my, I have right no idea there. what I'm listening to, anyway, but it could be taken in so many ways. I'm moving on. I'm too young for such things. Uh, am I hungry? Nourishment 68. I would say I'm not hungry then. Let's have a quick look at myself. Um, in terms of buffs, I'm fine. In terms of reputation, Rovner? I have no idea what that is. Talmberg? The villagers? Not as, as happy with me. The, the, I, I love this. The soldiers, the villagers themselves, the quarrymen, they all have different uh, reputations with me. Oh, their yeah, reputation has dropped somewhat. That's a bit of a shame. I wonder why. Don't worry, mm. we're safe. Safe? Sigismund and his heathen cutthroats will come out of the woods any time now and slaughter us all. They won't come back. <sighs> I mean, it's a fair it's a fair thing to be worried about, but at the same time, it's also not something you can change. So there's no point in worrying about it. Hello. May I talk to you? Yes, I may. Have a chat. God be with you. Thank you, and with you. Uh, about Sigismund's army. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, but it was a dangerous situation. It was, that and he handled Sigismund it well. is awful, unpredictable. He hmm. abducts the king, raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. That's a fair point. Is there a trade in here, Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? You want Votava, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Tambog fish pond. He should be around the granary somewhere. Okay, thank you very much. You've been very, very helpful. But uh, in in regard to that that lady who was who was awfully worried about what was going on, the thing is, if that army did want to attack it, it would. And if it did, it would really be down to the, how they were feeling whether they put every man, woman, and dog in here to the torch. And uh, there's nothing you can change about it. So there's no point worrying about it. You should only worry about the things you can actually change and the things you have agency over. I know that's that's very easy. It's just saying, oh yeah, you shouldn't worry about the thing that is terrifying you, but at the same time, uh, this is an awful situation, basically. And that's really all there is to it. Um, actually, I've got to go and speak with Robert, but I'm going to have a look around a little bit first. I want to, I want to actually talk with more people. Maybe talk to the guards as well. Get their, get their uh, input on everything. Hello. Good day to you. Good day. Uh, let's not just say that to a guard straight up, shall we? Let's just ask. That business with Sigismund turned out a bit well of a conversation, the end, didn't it? Aye, that was a good start. Now we need to drive him and his war whores out of Bohemia for good. Agreed. But not before I kill his. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Markvard. He has a die first. Sigismund, I would also like to kill. I mean, but that may be a, more of a long term plot. Uh, mm, well, I already apparently know. I'm not going to say I need to get out of here yet. I don't want to play my cards. Uh, let's see. Hello, villager. God be with you. And with you. Okay, you've got nothing to say. Oh, maybe all the villagers have the same thing to say. How about you? Oh, Votva. Hello. Votava. Right? Good day to you. Votava? What do you need? I'm really sorry if I mess up these names. I'll get better as Can we, we play the game longer and I I get to hear if more of the, the names. Coin. Very well, okay. I just need to avoid ever managing to get 18 gold and, and my, my honor will remain intact. <laughs> oh my lord, I've got the willpower of a snail. I know the moment I get a lockpick. That's it. That's it. It's a life of crime for me. 
I just need to avoid even even seeing that. Oh, my green shirt is messy. As are my boots. Well, that's just not good. How's my lentil mesh doing? Um, my apple's doing well because it's going to last for ages. Uh, some of these things, they're not actually going to sell for very much. How much gold do I have? Oh, no. I, I love... Put all the gold into the, into the chest and house. It seemed to make sense at the time. How could I have predicted this, though? No, I, we, we, it's fine. I'll just pick more more flowers. Um, though, I'm really quite frustrated with this. Condition 88%, your ability, charisma 7, noise. Hood is simple gear uh, that also covers the shoulders and upper torso with a short mantle. But it looks dirty. Can I do anything about this? Check basket. I don't want to add it to basket, no. Uh, all right. Oh, well, we're leaving. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. Can I use it? Yes, I, I'm fairly sure you could. You wash yourself as much as you can in the trough. Just in front of everyone. Has that cleaned my clothes? Oh, it has. Fantastic. Okay, so that may actually be helping with my, uh, my overall appearance and my charisma and stuff. This is very similar to games like Morrowind. Anyone who's played the older Elder Scroll games, from what I understand, doing improves your ability to do. So... Agility, I can only imagine if you run around a lot, your agility is going to get better. Or at least if you do anything that runs off agility, like that's its base attribute for um, calculating your success, then your agility will improve. Anything that uses that stat in some way will be improved by doing the thing that uses it, which is extremely, extremely good to know. Uh, right, anyone else I can talk to? You're just a regular villager. Uh, let's have a word. About six months. Ah, so some Sigismund's of them do have things to say. This morning was pretty alarming, wasn't it? And no mistake, that army of his is enormous. It's a good thing Sir Divish is such a fine speaker, or they'd have squashed us like bucks. Very true. Very true indeed. Okay, thank you. No good will come of that. Bringing strange women into the village from God knows where. What? It's my terrible what's words. going on in our land these The neighbours are missing two Heaven hens already. Could have been a weasel. Mark my words. Or that weasel of Heaven a woman. Forbid. Who knows what Everything she's points like. to it, can't For you see? all anyone knows, she might be some Vague. wild woman of the woods. Freezing winters. Uh, one can, <laughs> but like... So now we've, we've already got all the wild woodland, woodland women at Just home ourselves. Uh, okay, moving on. Heathen cutthroats will come out of the... Everyone's got to relieve their stress a little bit. Gossiping is probably the one of the most, or rather the least damaging ways of doing it, but hello, Sir Robert. Let's have a chat, God shall be with we? you. And with you, Sir Robert. Uh, let's not lead with what I want. Hmm. What do you know about the Cumans? Where did these Cumans come from, anyway? Cumans, okay. I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. I doubt it if they came the from nobles the nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Rather cynical view, but you've probably seen quite a lot of these conflicts and know what you're talking about. Uh, what is Sigismund after? What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg, well... I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Um... Hmm. Her strategic position and strong fortifications. He was afraid of the Kuttenberg insurgent lords. Ah, I wish I'd read the Codex, but from what I understand, wasn't, um... Wasn't Kuttenberg where Wenceslas... Ah, oh, I am going to show my ignorance over history now, but wasn't Kuttenberg where 
Wenceslas spent a lot of his time when he should have been spending his time elsewhere and uh, I don't know to feed his troops from their grant no um I'm going to say, yeah, the insurgent lords. Because the lords there could have risen against him with their armies and stopped his conquest of the Bohemian territories? That's part of it. Okay. Pasha Kratis. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. Okay, so I wasn't completely After off the After Prague, mark. it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kuttenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kuttenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kuttenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Hmm. Shrewd tactician, then. Why did Sigismund raid Scalit? Why did Sigismund burn down Scalit and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. Ah, uh, okay, so he was, again, removing a potential threat but also making himself wealthy. Well, let's let's be out with it then. I have to get to Scalitz. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I know nothing about Sir Robert. Um, let me out before I lose. I'm not going to say that. Not after, even if it is true, I'm not going to say it. They, they've done too much for me. I have to bury my parents. Um, I'm just going to be straight up. I, I have to bury my parents. This is, this is a, an honest and, and quite heartfelt. My parents Request. died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Ah, Good God, it. boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. I can't. They're my parents. Uh, all right. Well, that didn't go quite so well. Uh, let's bring up my quest log again. I've just now got to get out of the castle. Uh, maybe I should have gone with my strongest uh, stat. What is this then? Uh, this appears to be a training grounds. Okay. I've got quests all over the place. Down there, maybe. Hello, guard. Let's have a word. God be with you. God be with you too. I mean, I already Is know. There's someone here who trades in goods. Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. She's good hearted, especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> Fair enough. For anything else, you should see a fellow called Votova. Folk aren't too fond of him because he's as surly as a wet cat. But he <laughs> can enough. get you just about anything. I saw him by the granary. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Well, doesn't look like we've got much else to do around here. It looks like there's nothing else on my on my uh, compass. Nor does it look like there are any any flowers for me to pick that I can trade with. Ah. Uh, Oh, no, no. Ooh, Belladonna. Oh, poisoning someone, are we? Maybe. Oh, I wonder if that's something you can do. Oh, wait, wait. Didn't it say you could poison traders in order to get better prices? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, I, think, I think there are other things we could do rather than just, you know, filling their, their, their wine cup with deadly nightshade, actually. <laughs> I think we can hold off on that. 
Uh, we'll reserve that one for, for important situations only. Uh, but, you know. Or if I need to make my eyes look particularly beautiful. A few drops of uh, Essence of Belladonna make my pupils nice and big. Uh, let's see. Actually, that might not be a bad idea if that would uh, affect my uh, charisma in some way. I love this game and how you turn around to do stuff. I'm actually holding on to the rungs. Oh, okay. Uh, I was almost t entirely holding on to the rungs. Almost. It was very nearly perfect. Oh, we got him here. Hello. May I speak with you? Good day to you. What do you need? Um... Actually, since you, I haven't talked to you about any of this, Sigismund's arm. That was a tense moment this morning with Sigismund. Sir Divish handled it masterfully. Indeed. This is a strong castle. It should stand up to a siege. Uh, but Sigismund has an awful lot of soldiers. Who are those peculiar mercenaries of his? You mean the Cumans? No one knows much about them, except Sigismund enlisted them somewhere in the east. They're an evil-looking bunch, aren't they? Not just looking. What do you think about the Scarlet's folk managing to slip away like that? What do you think about how the Scarlet's folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on them, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. Good. It's just a shame Fortune didn't smile on all of them. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. And you know Sir Radzig Kubila? I wouldn't say I know him. I've seen him a few times. Why do you ask? Well, he must be a fine lord to take such good care of every one of his serfs. Surely all the lords do that. Ah, I could tell you some stories. About oh. Sir Jesus, no. I didn't mean it like that. Just that I heard stories from other soldiers that would make your skin crawl. I see. Uh, is there a trade to sell? Well, I'll, I'll ask. Do you know where I can buy and sell things? Well, if it's food you need, go and ask in the kitchen. But if you want something else, I can't help. One of the villagers might know. Okay. Well, they've all got a little bit of different information, so, you know, it might be worth talking to all of them, but... Uh, we're going to pass hey, by. Hey, watch I, it! Can I hmm. please Folk these days. slip past? I mean, you know, if if you'd have just let me pass... My lord. Uh, why? Why do you not have a way down? Oh, actually, I know why you don't have a way down. So <laughs> because that would be, uh, be... Disadvantageous in terms of defense. Still annoying. Uh, anything up here? There's a door. Can I go through here? Can I jump over here? I, I, oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. I almost got myself stuck. I'm still aware of your treachery sticks. Okay, well, I'm going to go and see about the kitchen then. I guess I could talk to some more of the villagers, actually, before. Uh, yeah, we'll speak with you. You seemed a little bit concerned earlier on. Are there any other traders on the kitchen and... Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? Everyone fled here with only what they could carry. But I reckon Vatava, the pond keeper, wouldn't let even Sigismund interrupt his business. No. I saw him by the granary. You can't miss him. He's skinny as a bulrush. I saw him by the granary. You can't miss him. He's skinny as a bulrush. Okay, there are, there are a few, God bless. few little little quirks, a few bugs to be ironed out. I've I've heard a few, uh, a couple of people mentioning the bugs in the game, but so far the bugs are more just comical ones. There, there's nothing that has been particularly uh, bad that I've seen. Uh, villager, yes, you're just a villager. I was wondering if maybe you were a specific craftsman, but okay. I mean, I could just jump down there. I'm not going to be that brazen, though. Not right in front of the guard. That would be silly. Uh, let's see. Anything else around? Um, can I go in here? Just close the door. Just in t case I want to... Uh, uh, I, 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 I mean, just in case I didn't want to let all of the hot air out. Yeah. Uh, hello? What, what are you... I have no idea. Very well. Yeah, it's in the. Mm, I mean, no. 
No, no, no. I'm not going to steal other people that took me in. Hello. Okay, I'm not going to ask that question again. I, I've got enough people who have told me where I need to be. Uh, what's in here? Got a little candle. I like those candles. Got another chest. The, the game is tempting me, damn it. We have got a um a story that involves a I hmm, I can't tell. It's actually the, this is all bloody. Huh, okay, it's not quite as simple as I thought it was. I wonder what's what went on there then. Maybe I can actually ask around. Because that doesn't look normal. Got a ladder. This be my room, or what was my room. I can sit on the bed if I want to. Don't want to just yet. I would like to do. I can sit down on the stool too. Ooh. No, nothing in there. Might be lamp oil or something. Or... Oh. Yeah, yeah, I guess lamp oil. Uh, oh, okay. Can't get through there either. Let's have a word with the guard out here. Hello. My respects to you. Thank you. Okay, can't talk to you about anything. I'm glad that, that they do kind of share uh, dialogues. You know what? In the heat of the moment, I didn't actually pay any attention to the horse that I got on. So I don't know which one would be mine. That's actually remarkably unfortunate. We have... A couple of sacks, nothing that I can interact with. Okay, heading up there is probably not where I'm meant to be. I can only imagine that uh, those seem to be the Lord's Chambers. Plenty of chests around. Cots, uh, servants' cots, I imagine. Hmm. Uh, hello? What was that for? My lord. I don't need to ask that question anymore. However, let's have a look in here. Oh, okay, I'm in a private area. Let's not be in a private area then. Uh, but that looks like um, the stock room for the kitchens. Here we are. Uh, eat from the pot or drop into the pot. Oh, maybe I can do, add my own food stuffs to it. That's kind of... Oh, that's probably how you poison people. Um, hello. That was a close thing this morning, eh? If you knew Sir Divish like I do, you wouldn't be so concerned. Being imprisoned might have injured his health, but there's no one can rival him for cleverness and cunning. Really? It's not for nothing he was made the King's Burgrave in Prague a few years back. Folks still talk of how he settled the dispute between Father Peck and Sir Pshibik. That is not how I would have pronounced that name in a million years, my lord. Uh, okay, well, let's actually ask some you. food, who should I ask? Who do you think, young man? Me, of course. And if you want something extra, I could help you out with that too. Okay. Huh. I'd like to buy something from you. Of course, lad. What is it that you have? Sweet pancakes. Oh my lord, that sounds delicious. Uh, freshness, weight, pies, blah, blah, blah. What other things do you have then? Oh, nothing actually. Wow. You got honey. Honey in a honeycomb. Useful to the apothecary. Cook, candle maker, and brown bin. <laughs> milk, a jug filled to overflow with fresh, full fat cow's milk. Uh, okay, well, that's actually quite nourishing. We don't need it, though. Not, not for a little while. Okay. Well, there's not much that we want to do down here. I can sit down. Uh, there's various things that I can open, various things that I can lockpick. I am not sure where we need to go next. I mean, I guess I can go and talk to the guard and explain that I want to be out of here. Alternatively, I could go and speak with the Lord and, and perhaps appeal to him to allow me to leave. 
What's up here, though? Uh, I don't want to burst in anywhere private. Uh, I would like to pass you by, but I cannot. Oh, you just came out of there. It's a corridor. Very hard. Easy. Uh, that one's just open. I love the details so far. Looks very, very nice, this game. Okay, that uh, brings us out here. We're going to have a look down. Now then, where's this going to go? My wonder genes are kicking in very heavily with this game. I just want to see all of the things. I want to drink in all the details with my eyeballs. Uh, ooh. Um, yeah, not going to interrupt there. They are in prayer. Uh, yeah, not really meant to be there too, I imagine. Oops, are you me. serious? I am. I was going down the stairs first. Okay, we're probably much more allowed to be in here. Can I speak with you? No. Can I head in here? Study some. Oh dear, I'm in another private area. Well, where am I meant to go then? If everyone's private. I'm trying very hard to be to to not. Uh, oh, okay, Damn. Away. What? I you walked straight into me. You saw me there as well. I'm trying very hard to 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 not not. Uh, Disrespect those who have very kindly taken me in, but I'm running out of options here. All right, then. Well, I talked to pretty much everyone in the town, every villager, and every guard except for the guard at the gate. Uh, I don't want to play my cards too early. At this point, though, I'm almost out of ah options. Uh, I'm sorry, my lord. I, I apologize. Uh, however, I'm going to look for your wife. That is my last... Uh, my last idea. Perhaps she can help me. Maybe she can speak with her husband and convince her husband that he should let me go. It's pretty much the only thing I've got left that I can try and do. Uh, where might your wife be? Uh, I'm in a private area. You know what? I should not be in the private area of a lord. I just kind of feel that, that might be a really dumb place to be caught, frankly. And I can't, uh, get through there either because it's locked. Oh my goodness. Uh, right. Oh, pardon me, my lord. Uh, let's carry on. No, is the guard there? Stopped. Just making sure I'm paying the, the, his lordship the proper respect. Very well, guard. That is your duty, after all. Uh, okay, I can't go through there. I probably should. Oh, thank goodness it doesn't automatically try to help you pick a lock, even if you don't have lock picks, if you press E on a door. Because that would have been a terrible time to do it, right when the uh, guard was right there. Uh, no, not in here. Oh, my lord. I'm sure she was up here somewhere. Where are you? Ah, there we are. Okay, my lady Stephanie, please can you help me? You are my Jose, only hope. Can I help you with anything? I am certainly hopeful that you can. Um, well, actually, first, let's, let's, uh, let's just chat about Sigismund's my lady, army. I hope you weren't unduly distressed by the arrival of Sigismund's army this morning. Well, it was to be expected. And thanks to God's mercy and my good husband, there was no more bloodshed. But it's something else that distresses me. Oh. Maybe my mind deceives me, but I have an evil foreboding. That evil doesn't sound lady. good. Surely not. No evil could possibly come to you. I fear something bigger and worse will come. That Sigismund is only another omen of imminent evil. Of great evil. Oh dear. Uh... Well, I actually have to get to Scalitz. I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Well, I'm Why, for my the love good, of God, but... would you want to leave the castle? Um, well, that's interesting. We don't have a time on this one. Uh, never mind, I don't actually. No, I, of course I do. I need it badly. Uh, she is more intimidating than me. <laughs> uh, Possibly because I, I look all bashed up and I, I haven't got a particularly good weapon on me and maybe she just understands she's in her castle surrounded by her men at arms that would protect her so she has every reason to feel completely safe however um hmm hang on a second my charisma is low oh was my charisma up from the drink ah that could be it you know but now I've slapped it off huh 
Of course. Well, my speechcraft is still high, so uh, sure. I need to bury my parents. My parents are lying in the mud of skeletons at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. I know. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armour, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognise you and he'll let you go. That's Good genius. Point. Where can I get the armor? And where can I get the armor? At the armory? <laughs> Where's that? Why do I feel so stupid? In the gate tower. Oh my lord. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Oh. So maybe I can take it off a sleeping soldier. Also a genius. My lord. Uh, or rather my lady. Hmm. Yeah, what if they ask me where I'm going? They'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits to ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Okay. Uh, might I have to pay the bribe? I mean, not if I do. Well, actually, that's a good point. I might have to pay a bribe. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money and. Oh, that's not what I'm, I, I was expecting to... How oh. would you? Oh, that wasn't... Don't worry your head about it. No, I... be enough. I couldn't. Thank you, my lady. Ah, oh, damn it. pay you, I uh, 25 groschen! I don't think I'm ever going to be able to repay that. I'm, I'm hitting the same snag that I did in Fallout 4, where it's like, oh yeah, you've got these uh, dialogue options. And I'm, oh, okay, I'll pick that one. That sounds good. And then your character doesn't say that. Well, it does, but it also says a lot more, and that completely changes the tone of the option. And I, uh, that is going to rankle you, me Mike. something chronic. I must go now. <sighs> Do I look like a son? No. I should imagine I don't. <sighs> Thank you very much, my lady. You have been far, far kinder than I deserve, frankly. Far, far kinder than I deserve. Right, where are we going to head to now, then? Um... There's a ladder down the side of that roof. Can I see that properly? Yes, I can. Oh, will you please stop popping these notifications up all the time. Uh, right, moving on. Now, how am I going to do this? Ah, uh, hello? Ah, right, okay, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, that, that was me, running away. Uh, actually, I'm gonna run away the other way. Yes, we're gonna see what we can do. <laughs> Damn it, uh, they are on to me. Um, how should we continue about this? Let's go, uh, let's go up this way. Uh, we're gonna need to find a way into that armory that doesn't involve going past guards. Excuse me. There we go. Can I go in this way? I wonder. Hello? Uh, I can use a ladder. Oh, damn it, I'm in the private area again. Uh, let me head down here. What are we gonna find? Whee! Or maybe not we, actually. Well, hopefully not we. Uh, okay, nothing nothing much down here. I could sleep, but I, I don't think I'm meant to be here. So probably... Oh, actually, no. I, I'm... Well, when I'm on the ladder, it doesn't tell me that I... Oh, no, no. I'm on... Oh, dear. You might spot me there. I feel like this is going to be a, uh, a constant problem. Hmm. Maybe I could knock one of them out and steal their armor. I mean, being knocked out is just the same as sleeping, isn't it? Surely. Don't mind me. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to do some reconnaissance, I think. 
going to be able to find anyone asleep up here, really? No, we're not. Maybe down the stairs. Yes, I know. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, don't, noise? don't, don't be sneaking. If you are in a place you're not meant to be, look like you're meant to be there. Don't look like you know you're not meant to be there. If you can, wear the things you're meant to, can, to, to wear. If you have to squat somewhere, find, find some workman's clothes. Ideally something from the government. Ideally a white van, if you're in Britain. Just look like you're meant to be there. People won't question it. Have a ladder. Have, have some, have some, uh, some cloths, like you're cleaning windows or do, doing some official business. People won't question it. They've got, they're far too busy worrying about their, their debts and their mortgage. You can just get in there and then you can have somewhere warm to sleep instead of out in the rain. Ah, damn it. I've done the labs a couple of times now and there always seems to be someone here. Ah, it's not the thing. I'm never going to manage to get into that room, frankly. Uh... I'd really like to, though. Oh. Oh. Goodbye. Why, yes. Goodbye. Ha-ha! Now's my chance. Okay. Uh, let's lose the boots. Let's lose all of the things. We've got a couple of things now. Uh, off they go. Also, off that goes. Need to be inconspicuous. Shh. Oh. Slow down, you fool. Quietly, quietly does it. Okay. Got anything in here? We've got some more arrows. I'm actually starting to accrue quite a large number of arrows at this point. Can I get anything out of here? No, I can't. I've got some shields, though. Shield with a Talonberg crest. Yes, please. Uh, sure. I don't really need two shields, I imagine, but uh, you never know. Uh, everything seems to need a lot pick. I mean, it's not so bad right now because I have been given leave to nick these things. So, that's a little bit different. Okay, stealthy, stealthy. Let's be quiet now. Need helmet. I'm assuming that's a helmet. No? Okay, someone's moving around up there. So, the best option for me would probably be to not move much at all down here. No, nothing really. No, no one over there. Good. Ah, so many things that I can lockpick. I don't really want to fleece this place of anything I don't need. That being said, I did take two shields, which wasn't quite that uh, good, I imagine. Is anyone up there? I think we might be safe. Well, we're going to find out now. And I just got a peek up. Oh, okay. Appar apparently, no. Uh, it's, it's all or nothing, apparently. Is anyone just outside? No. Okay, then. Very good. Ooh, sofa crest. Wow, the weather changed. This is about as fast of a change as uh, in Wales, honestly. All right, let's pop these on. I'm not doing anything untoward. But I am extremely sad to say, I think I'm not going to be able to do this without lockpicks. I've got a funny feeling that everything I need is going to be locked in chests. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, actually, I am. I, I, I know. I was surprised as well. I was expecting there to just be a suit of armor lying around or something, but no, no. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to get some lockpicks and go ahead and. Ooh. Hello, what? everyone. Uh, go Ashek. ahead and start picking. You must be picking pulling my chest. Hello, you. I hear you can get me anything I want. Let's have a chat then. Good day to you. Good day. You do not look can nearly as a, as emaciated as I was led to believe. A treasure map. You sell treasure map. We're hundred twenty. That is super expensive. Oh, my lord. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Uh, all right. I've got 25. Dried meat. I imagine that stays fresh for a long time. Yeah, durability infinite. Okay, that's not too bad. It might be all right just to keep you going. And it'll give you a little bit of energy, too. Cheap wine, you'll lose energy. But, you know, you'll you'll gain various other things. 
Be estimable fruit of the bohemian lands, tasty, boiled, or roasted with meat or porridge. Well, we know what we're here for, and it's for lockpicks. All right. I can only afford one, though. Actually, can I sell... Th I, I'm not going to be able to sell these. Oh, how much I wish I could sell those. A shield is especially suited for use with short weapons. There are countless shapes and sizes of shields, but the heater, shield-shaped, shield is one of the most common. In addition to its defensive function, it also carries the owner's colours, revealing whether the bearer is a nobleman or a member of the Lord's garrison or town militia. Stolen in Townburg, so if we want to sell it, don't sell it here. Fair enough. Seems reasonable. Uh, those should not be on my back at all. Um, I've got a couple of things that maybe be able to get a little bit of cash for. Roast duck, for example. Mm. I'm not selling my father's tools. However, I've got a lot of cheese. Alright, let me actually see how much money I can make. I'm going to pay 11 so far. I need to pull that down enough that I can buy two lockpicks, ideally. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all of these. There you go. And a whole loaf of bread. That can go. And two bread rolls. Those can go as well. I mean, that's almost good enough. Very nearly good enough. Oh, I don't want to sell my roasted duck, though. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to. There we are. I'm going to pay 6.7, which means I can now try and buy another lockpick. There we are. I could afford this in its entirety at this point. Okay, I'm going to have to sell an awful lot of goods to get it. And of course I'm going to haggle, because if, if nothing else, it's going to train my speech Let's talk craft. about the price. Sure, why not? <laughs> you think this is a game? Damn, you must be pretty good at it then. Uh, right, I would like to pay... 23? I'm going to... Oh, no, let's, let's try... I'd like to pay 22. Let's see if you'll go with that. Because you might. Is this enough? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. All right, then. How annoyed are you with that? You're actually not that annoyed at all, really. Maybe I could bring it down a little bit more. Let's try for 23. That'll leave me with two. All right, so. Okay, there we go. A little bit of successful haggling. It's good for the soul. As is this rain, frankly. I like rain. Alright, so now we've got a lockpick. Uh, it didn't take us long, did it? It, it, it hasn't taken me very long at all. I'm, I'm one town over, and I'm turning to thievery. Granted, there is a small upside to this. My father didn't raise a thief, but a noble woman told me I had to, and who am I to argue with the nobility? Frankly, I'm just doing my duty at this point. And that is what we're gonna that's what we're gonna stick to. That's my excuse. But we're gonna find out how it goes in the next episode. Where I'm a little bit concerned. In fact, you know what? what let's let's go maybe have an hour's kip on the bed. Yeah, because I do believe that when you sleep, hmm, that may actually save me some shave save your snaps. Rather than end, if I have a bed nearby when I want to end an episode, if I can just sleep for half, uh, for like half an hour or an hour, then that should actually save the game. So, uh, yeah, we'll try and do that. Uh, and I'll always try to end an episode near a bed. I'm not always going to be able to, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, the game is as the game is. Let's go ahead and close that door. And then, uh, we, can, we can contemplate what we're about to get, get ourselves into. Again... It, it is noble woman approved, so I have a small, very, very, very small, uh, small get out of get out of guilt card there. It's extremely small, however. Uh, I'm, I am going to take my boots off though. I, I was told to, so but the very least I can do is take my boots off, considering I'm about to start stealing things. But let's have a kip then. Ah, this game. Oh, am I going to actually be able to sleep? Hopefully. Let's, let's go. No. Ah, drat. That was a very, very short sleep. Well, okay. Looks like that's going to be the end of the episode there. 
I hope you have enjoyed it. We'll be joining me in the next where we're going to find out uh, exactly what uh, what it feels like to be a thief in this game. Uh, until then, though, and as ever, do take care, everyone.